This video is brought to you by Squarespace. More about Squarespace later in the video. This is Daniel from RC Test Flight, driving the world's coolest boat. It also doubles as the world's coolest RC ground effect vehicle. It uses throttle and differential motor steering for control. Woo! That was much better than the, uh, than the last time I tried to ride that. <laughs> much better than the last time. You didn't, you didn't come away with an entire bruised side. If you saw the previous video on this project, you may remember it didn't go so well. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh. This was my first ever project capable of carrying a person and it was built with a mix of home improvement store and aircraft grade materials. The logistics of this project were a bit of a nightmare, and I didn't intend to revisit it until someone said this. I think you need par thrust on this thing, and that would be primo. Daniel didn't just have a suggestion though. He had giant quad motors and the batteries to make things happen. What's that? We're going to power the, the ground effect vehicle that took me really high. Was that Daniel's idea? That was Daniel's idea. A few weeks later, Daniel shipped some components and test parts for the conversion. I didn't know all the details on how Daniel planned to execute this project, but in the meantime at his direction I had picked up a large diameter thin wall aluminum tube. Soon Daniel hopped on a plane and flew down to Southern California to see if we could turn my frown from the previous project upside down. Wow we look at all these planes. Oh hi Kevin, what's up? Hey, what's Good up? to see you. We would have no need for handlebars so the weight shift setup was the first to go. You look like you're hacking your way through the Amazon. <laughs> They were repurposed as a sawhorse for cutting up the 2x4s we would use to mount the motors on later. How's that sawhorse working out for you, Daniel? It's a little jibbly, but we'll try it. The handlebar attachment points needed to be sanded down so we wouldn't get fiberglass shards in our hands as we worked. Daniel's plan was to mount the motors on the aluminum tube using clamps he had designed and 3D printed. Strong enough. Pass the test. Dang. Let's see if I can break it. <laughs> I was fairly certain this would work just fine as an RC model, but we had the stretch goal of actually carrying a person as well, so I needed to cut out the cockpit area for a person to sit in. Ooh, that's our cockpit. Do you think the nose won't fold if we cut these out? Or should we glass these uh, sides? Yeah, I want to glass the sides and then I'll put it like a seat. Let's test this thing out. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. That's a really good one. Perfect. Crack. <laughs> the crack cover. Oh, yeah. Woo. I feel like Tom Cruise, Top Gun. This will be great. I'll just be holding the controller instead of a joystick. The aluminum motor mounting tube would be clamped to 2x4 standoffs. The 2x4s were initially attached with Gorilla Glue. I then came back later and fiberglassed everything together. Look at that. Oh, it's for batteries. Oh, it's a high performance military grade box. These were powering really cool hobby wing motors that have field oriented control speed controllers built in. It made wiring and assembly incredibly easy. Okay, so now these ones should spin. I found a kitten. Hey, little guy. Where are you? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> He's scared. Kitty, 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 kitty. That's a baby kitty. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Kevin the cat nabber. Yeah. The cat saver. Getting some milk, buddy. Oh, oh, look at him, he's so cute. He's adorable. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Where am I gonna put you? Whoa, that's a lot of square space. I don't know what Kevin's thinking about doing with all that square space. Whoa, 
That is a lot of square space. You could probably build a website with all that square space. There was a whole lot of square space in this project, which is fitting because they are sponsoring this video. It is also fitting because I am building my website for an upcoming endeavor using their services. Squarespace provides website building and domain hosting services, and I have found their tools very intuitive and easy to use while providing professional results. Right now I need to get the message of my next company out to the world. Squarespace does that for me. But what would you need a website to do for you? Do you need a website domain? Do you need a platform to host promotional or product videos from the website itself? Are you selling products or services? Squarespace has fantastic tools to build whatever website you are dreaming of. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, use this URL on the screen or the link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So what do you think the chance is that this thing actually works? Yeah, Me in it. I give it like 10% with you in it. 10%? And then I give it like 80% without you in it. I'd give it 90% without me in it. 30% with me in it. We gotta get our invasive species inspection done. Okay, we have arrived. Look at that. Lakefront parking. Amazing. This is gonna be crazy. This is plush compared to last time. Woo-wee! <laughs> and then came the moment of truth. 360's rolling. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Look at that down there, it works. It's flying. It's way further than I thought it would. It was like three inches above the ground. Absolutely perfect. I think I got it. What the hell? This thing is sweet. Just floats above the surface of the water. For the next flight, we got a little bit more artistic with the oh. shots. That looks so good. Okay. This thing handled so perfectly right off the bat that after just two flights, Daniel had seen enough. Yeah, I'm ready. So now we are tilting the motors down for par thrust. That's power augmented ram. So it's gonna ram air down under the wings to lift the front up. I think Kevin was right in having the motors flat at first in the RC unmanned uh, version because what it was doing is it was blowing the air up over top of the front wing and then the air was getting sucked down underneath the rear wing. And that allowed it to fly even though it was super tail heavy. Like this thing is way too tail heavy right now to fly out of ground effect. So there's our par thrust angle. I think that ought to work pretty well. I'm gonna climb on in. Wowee, this is the first time I've ever climbed inside of a RC plane. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay, bye Kevin. Good times, right? Good times we've had on this planet together. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs>
I cannot believe that worked! Woo! <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> so, so good. Oh, I love it. Could you see if I was actually airborne or not? Uh, I think the, the, the step was still hitting. Oh yeah? Damn it. So we weren't actually flying. Daniel drove the craft one more time. You could definitely tell the ground effect was working as the wings stayed perfectly flat and out of the water. But unfortunately, there just wasn't enough speed to get the step off the water with Daniel in it. I don't know if this was a power or a prop pitch problem. The props are pitched for multi-rotors, and the pitch is very low, so they don't generate a lot of speed. It was apparent that I would not fly due to being heavier than Daniel, but I hadn't come all this way not to try the vehicle out. Yeah, it's not going. However, my additional 55 pounds was enough to take this from being the world's coolest boat to the world's lamest boat. Well, that 50 pounds made a big difference. Without changing the motor angle back to the way it was for the first radio control flights, I did some flights without me in the craft. Just floats. The pitch axis did not behave well at all, and it took very fine throttle control to keep it flying. But it turned out to be good for other things. How about you just drive it right up on the beach? Beach it, beach it, beach it. Hell yeah, that's hovercraft right there. I bet you could turn it around. I don't want to get sand in your motor. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, sick. Woo! And with that, thoroughly satisfied with the preceding events, we called it a day. Woo, okay. <laughs> Pretty sick. Daniel the Hulk! <laughs> the only thing I could think of to cap this day off was to take this to the landfill. Kevin was so excited to get rid of this thing. <laughs> And his day has been ruined because the landfill is closed on Sunday. <laughs> Goodbye, baby girl. Have a good life at your new home. I miss you already. We are moving the center of pressure more forwards because it was tail heavy and we wanted the center of pressure back. So now Daniel being in it is going to move the center of gravity forward, so we need to move the center of pressure forward by hitting the front wings with the No air. one is following what you're saying. Come on, man. <laughs> That's the juice. <laughs>